good morning class 10 students of both the shifts today is day 4 lesson 2 topic 4 now before we begin this video i hope you guys are ready with your register and a pen in your hand so today's topic is the continuation of the yesterday's topic that is pronom relative now what is pronom relative we can see it again pronom relative is used to depend on its grammatical role such as subject or the direct object within the relative clause as well as on the gender and number <coughs> excuse me we can say that we use relative pronoun to introduce relative clause which tells us more about people and things this example yesterday we saw marie curie is the woman who discovered radium so who is been used as a pr- relative pronoun now relative pronoun been divided into two parts relative sample we saw it yesterday now today we will be seeing pronoun relative composite now pronoun relative composite is is used to join two sentence to make one just like pronoun relative where sim where in simple we use ki ka u don't whereas in pronoun relative composite we don't use ki ka u don't but instead of that we use prepositions with the pronoun interrogative what are prepositions in interrogative preposition you have the set right of class 9 you have the list of prepositions have given to you plus the pronoun relative class last year's uh, topic was le quel les quel la quel and les quel so combining these two will make it pronoun relative composite for example <coughs> excuse me say mon ami je vais à l'école avec mon ami so avec is the preposition so what's the good thing about pronoun relative composite that means you will be getting a hint in your sentence so avec is the preposition mon ami is singular as well as the feminine so la quel so say mon ami avec la quel je vais à l'école next one is say ma tante je vais la demande chez elle uh, this is my aunt i go to sunday to her house so she again the preposition l is la quel so say ma tante she la quel je vais au dimanche now third one now this one is very very interesting because this pronoun relative composite with the preposition the can be replaced by pronoun relative sample also with the don't part you guys know it that don't replaces the preposition the so voila le chien mon père a peur du chien so see the dog my father is afraid of the dog now voila le chien du quel mon père a peur so this is pronoun relative composite similarly the second one voila le chien don mon père a peur so du chien can be replaced by don also pronoun relative sample if it is the, these kinds of sentences given in the in the question form okay so better you change it with pronoun relative composite because it makes more more sense so here is the dog from whom my father is afraid okay now this is your assignment for your pronoun relative composite i hope this is visible to you guys if not let me zoom it and show it to you Let me zoom it more. Okay. 
okay so now yesterday's answer which i have given you the assignment let us see how to do that so the assignment for yesterday's were like uh, uh fit le phrase on utilisant le pronom relatif simple that means ki ka u don't we have to replace it by ki ka u don't so the first one je perdu la lettre tu ma la donne okay so now you can see the first one is we have the object says la lettre But the second one is been replaced by pronoun personal l apostrophe so l apostrophe is for the la lettre so this will be replaced by what yeah that's right ka because ka rule was after ka there has to be a subject pronoun so je perdu la lettre ka tu ma donné Okay, next one. Je lis un roman. Le roman est passionnant. So I read a novel. The novel was very interesting. So le roman is been uh, been repeated in the uh, first half. So that will be the dash uh, for this. So following by. By a verb, so it will be replaced by. That's right, qui. Je lis un roman qui est passionnant. Okay, now regarde cette maison. La toile de cette maison est rouge. So, see this house. The flooring of this house is red. So set maison is been repeated here, so it will be replaced by. That's right. K. Oh, don't. Why? Because it has the. So regard set maison dans le toit et rouge. Why don't? Because it the relation between the flooring of the maison. Okay. Set an article. Il y a des informations importantes dans cet article. So article, article will be replaced by. That's right. Dans. So set un article dans information est très important. So articles information the information of the article will be replaced by dans, not with the que. Okay. Il y a will be removed. Elia they will be removed and dans cet article will be removed and it will be dans okay elia quelque chose je dois vous expliquer cette chose so cette chose and quelque chose been replaced uh, be, been repeated so the answer will be que elia quelque chose que je dois vous expliquer Okay, I hope your answers are correct. Okay, let's continue. Tu connais la personne? Cette personne a écrit cette lettre. So la personne and cette personne been repeat. So, so this will be replaced by what? Qui? That's right. Because a écrit passé composé is used. So, um. A pronoun relative followed by the verb. That is, we put qui. Do you know the person who has written this letter? Okay. Set a hotel. La ville y est extraordinaire. So, hotel is being replaced by pronoun personal why. Why we use when we have a Please, that's right. So this will be replaced by O. That's it. okay. Set a hotel. O la ville est extraordinaire. Now, what is la ville? The environment of the hotel. The the presentation of the hotel. Okay. 
Earth One. Il y a aussi un film, le film raconte cette histoire. So, un film et le film being repeated. So, it will be. That's right. Pronom relative followed by the verb will be qui. So, the answer is. Il y a aussi un film qui raconte cette histoire. Now, you remember qui replaces the subject but also per me could be could be person or a thing. So in this case, the film is a thing. So replaced by qui. Why? It's a rule. Qui followed by the verb. Okay. Uh, ninth one. C'est la région. Elle n'aime pas du tout cette région. So, it is that region. She doesn't like the region at all. This region at all. So, region is a place. What do you think? Should be replaced by où? No, it will be replaced by que. How? Cette région que elle n'aime pas de tout. This is the region that she doesn't like at all. This is the place with, that she doesn't like at all. So, why que? Why not où? Because cette région is being used as a thing, not a place. So, liking, disliking of a place, of a thing, not a place. Okay. Tu es venu me voir un jour. Je ne étais pas chez moi ce jour-là. So, un jour and ce jour-là will be replaced by what? That's right. Où? So, tu es venu me voir un jour. Où je ne étais pas chez moi. Okay. Next one, eleventh one. Ils rencontrent les fonds. Ils travaillent le plus en front. So, elle and les femmes. Elle is being used as a subject for the les femmes will be replaced by qui. So, this will be the subject will be replaced by qui, and the rule is qui followed by the verb. Elle Rencontrons les fonds qui travaillent le plus en France. Ok, j'ai un rendez-vous avec une personne. On parle beaucoup de cette personne. So, de cette personne, excuse me. So, de cette personne will be replaced by don. Very good. J'ai un rendez-vous avec une personne dont on parlait beaucoup whom one is talking a lot ok so c'est mon voisin j'ai apprécié beaucoup mon voisin so c'est mon voisin que je apprécie beaucoup good ok il y a beaucoup de gens dans ce quartier il habite au 16e étage. So, il and beaucoup de gens will be replaced by qui. Il y a beaucoup de gens ce quartier qui habite au 16e étage. Who lives in the 6th floor. Ok. Elle joue avec la copine. Le père de sa copine est médecin. So, now, la copine de sa copine. So, we know it, like, this will be replaced by don, but it tells us the relation between elle, the she, copine, friend, the father, the father of her friend. So, elle joue avec la copine dont le père est médecin. I hope 
your answers should have been all correct if not then do the correction and you can always and always ask me ask on the group so why this why not this okay i hope you guys have all understood uh the formation of uh, uh pronoun relative composite that is the preposition all the prepositions okay so the prepositions uh, um i would have given to you guys but doesn't matter just wait a second i'll i'll show you so that you can see it okay i'm keep placing it here i hope this will be so you can always and always have a screenshot of this okay i hope i am doing the justice uh, just wait a second this is the set right okay i hope you can see better okay guys uh, for any doubt for anything you can always and always ask me you can always message me through whatsapp sir not getting this excuse me not getting this topic at all kindly do the video again so that we can all understand this okay so you can again see and this is okay let me show it to you with this my dear students for any doubt for anything you can always and always ask me so do let me know okay so now again we'll discuss about fitur anterior so what is fitur anterior the definition says it's a compound tense that means it is been made out of two two tenses that is the future tense as well as the past tense and it is used to describe an action that will have been completed before the reference point in the future not for example in 2023 you will all have completed your class 12 which tells you that in 2023 completion of class 12 will take place now the formation was subject plus etro or avar conjugated in fitur sample this time i have given it the full thing because you guys have asked me so i made a video uh je serai tu seras elle elle sera nous serons vous serez elle elle plural seront similarly aurai aura aura auront aurai and auront plus the main verb conjugated in past participle that's right so here are some assignments uh which we will be discussing because this thing i have given you uh a long time back so let's have the answers of it the first one says je dash mo devoir finir now finir is a object movement verb finishing the homework okay so it will be 
conjugated with the helping verb of avoir that is the object movement verb so je aurai aurai aller verb conjugated in future sample plus fini will be in past participle okay now second one says il dash a pari avant la fin de moi and the verb is venir so venir is a subject movement verb so it will be conjugated with that's right etre etre will be conjugated in future sample according to the subject that is il so il sera venu okay now je dash le repas the verb was ne pa manger that that is it is in negative form so the negation will come with the first verb that is the helping verb that is the avoir because manger is the object movement verb so je ne aurai pas manger le repas okay next is lisa dash en vacances l'année prochaine the verb is partir to leave to take a leave so partir is yes subject movement verb it will be conjugated with yes être être will be conjugated in future sample according to this so lisa sera parti now since uh, être is a flexible verb so what is missing in this that's right we have to add a cord that's it good why we we added the accord because etre is the flexible verb it tells us about the masculine the feminine as well as the plural so sera lisa is a feminine so sera parti now par la nuit je dash le livre so by the night i dash the book lire verb will be conjugated reading the book is a subject movement verb so je aurai aurai according to the subject that is je avoir conjugated in future sample plus lu good <coughs> excuse me a la fin le jour il dash le français the verb is prendre so at the end of the day they all dash the french will have learned so auron apprendre is for the french learning the french that is the object movement verb no subject movement but the object the knowledge has been gained that means learning of the french the knowledge has been gained so with avoir that is be conjugated in future sample according to the subject il plural that is auron and apprendre will be in past participle that's right next one is tu dash chez toi aller so aller is a subject movement verb so tu dash so etre will be there because etre is the subject movement verb so helping verb will come in form of etre that will be conjugated in future sample why i am again and again repeating future sample and past participle in order to make you learn understand what is future on the rear all about so so the answer is tu sera ale so now this tu if you write if you add a chord also uh that would that won't be uh, wrong because we don't know the the gender of this tu so could be single l uh, sing, sorry single e 
I could be adding the accord that is double E now eighth one eighth one says Wu dash aller the verb is etr etr itself is the object movement verb though in the helping verb it goes with the subject movement but the main verb is the object movement verb so etr with ore will be uh, will be the object movement he will be e uh, sorry um, um, uh, uh, you will have been on time so wo according to uh, ali according to wo or a and the past participle of etr now ninth one says nu dash la voiture the verb is ashate so ashate is the is the subject movement verb again so buying something that is a car so it will go with avoir which will be conjugated in future sample that's it uh, according to the subject that is nu so nu oro ashate so we won't add s y because avar is the rigid verb remember etr is a flexible verb it add e or s with, with the past participle in order to show us in order to show us the, the gender as well as the number good the last one is le soir le tron dash the verb is partir partir is to leave so again partir uh, is a subject movement verb so le soir le tron sera parti so partir is with etre now you will you will tell me sir uh, so this tron is the object so object movement goes with avoir i agree but this train is been handled by its driver right so the train basically a driver is uh, chalafing the train so the train according to the partir partir will be the subject movement verb okay so the tra sera partir and the tra is masculine so no accord is that clear so again uh, let me show you again future anterior uh, it is a compound tense made up of two things that is the future sample as well as the past participle and describe an action that will have been completed before the reference point in the future uh the examples we took now um, let me say uh a one more example in on 15th of april when our school gets reopen um uh, we will have been completed our two lessons so the shorty is 100% that before the school reopens we will be completing our our two lessons and by the time the school reopen that would be the history of those two lessons that means we won't be touching those two lessons and we will be moving forward with our lessons okay okay guys so again the formation for the last time sujet plus etr or avar conjugated in future sample and here are the list you can always and always pause the video and you can see the conjugation the formation and everything even the answers also i hope you guys are doing well and you guys are studying seriously because as soon as the school gets reopen 
I will be definitely taking your test. Okay. So, have a blessed day dear students. Abhyantam.